It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. Big things are happening and we are here to discuss everything that has been happening in the world of rugby. And joining me to discuss football now. It is that time of the season where teams are preparing for the pre-season as they wait for the season to start actually next month. Eric, welcome to the touchline. It's been a minute. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yes. It's been a minute. Yeah. So many things up and down here. <laughs> yes. Uh, Others, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I thank God. Yeah. Uh, despite the fact that it has been a difficult week for us. Yes. Uh, but uh, we believe it's God's will. Yes. Um, our mom rested on Monday. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, by next week on Friday, yeah. we'll be laying her to rest. Yes. She was uh, a great fan of sports. Yes. She loved sports, specifically netball. Yeah. And uh, she was a trainer and a coach. Yeah. And uh, we pay tribute to her for, 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 for the life we've been together. Yes. As we say, it is the will of God. Mm -hmm. As uh, Gladys, uh, that was her name actually. Yes. Gladys Adaro Mulupi. Mm -hmm. As uh, we lay her to rest on Friday on 15th. Well, the yeah. touchline condoles with your family. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right. So, let's talk about football. Some things that have been... What has been your highlight on the week when it comes to transfers? Because everything is happening very, very fast. Uh, so much is happening at the same time and you're finding that um, teams are strengthening, especially uh, in England. Yes. Uh, in the Premier League, I think uh, we are, we're going to have a very interesting season mm -hmm. because uh, we're looking at uh, the big teams are really, really strengthening. Yes. And uh, we've had uh, Haaland to Manchester City. Mm -hmm. That's a big, big, big... Uh, Finally, scene. Manchester United brought in a left back in... Uh, Tyrell. Tyler, yeah. A good, a good player for Manchester United to have. A good, a good player. I've seen uh, glimpses of him on, uh, on YouTube. Yes. And uh, I think on training, the last two days he's been in training with them. He's, a, he's, a, he's an exciting young man. But my, my, my problem is that... Um, was that really what they really needed at that particular time? Because yes. you, 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 you see at the, at the left back, they already have Luke Shaw mm -hmm. and uh, they have the other Brazilian. Yes. So is that really what Manchester United needed? Mm -hmm. Because I think um, the priority should have been uh, probably a centre back. A centre back. Yes. Uh, because you look at the centre uh, the centre backs that we have in yes. Manchester United, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Rafael Varane. Yes, is uh, is uh, barely fit. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we have Maguire. I, I don't need to explain more about Maguire. <laughs> uh, I was looking at uh, I, I was looking at uh, something changed actually my perspective yesterday when I was lo looking at uh, uh, I was just perusing through online. And uh, there was a lot, some stories that Ten Hag has come in with uh, some strict demands yes, on yes. what he wants uh, to mm -hmm. happen for, to Manchester United. Yes. So, like players having personal chefs, mm -hmm. uh, so you're in a club, you've got a personal chef, he is brought in, a, now you eat food that is prepared by the chef of the club and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So, you realize that it was a regime that uh, where players had a lot of power. A lot of power. In Manchester United. Uh, and and uh, that's what is coming into slash it completely to slash completely because yeah. if you look at manchester united uh, since the departure of uh, maybe jose Mourinho, yes i think uh, van gaal era there was a little mm -hmm. bit of discipline jose Mourinho, there was that discipline yes uh, but since the departure of uh, jose Mourinho, because mm -hmm. when soldier came in yes. uh, he relaxed things a little bit mm -hmm. and uh Rangney came in and made it even worse yes because you see for a team to perform uh, 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 there has to be three things one mm -hmm. discipline discipline yes uh, discipline mm -hmm. uh, among the players yes on and off the field mm -hmm. because you see that uh, uh, it is the discipline of the field yes. that has been killing manchester united yes. because if they are not dieting properly uh, mm -hmm. that is part of discipline yeah. you, you see cristiano ronaldo the likes of cristiano ronaldo doesn't take cock uh, doesn't take <laughs> yes. soda yes. because he believes the soda mm -hmm. will mess up his his fitness levels maybe yes. his, uh, his diet and what have you and then there has to be commitment and sacrifice for the club that that has been lacking in manchester united uh, mm -hmm. on and off the field you've yes. seen uh, uh, players who don't want to track back when they lose the ball Mm -hmm. And um, lastly, there has to be that cohesion mm -hmm. amongst the team. Now the team spirit, the teamwork. And, and that is what is going to work with more. Yes, that is what is going to work with more because, you see, football is a game of 11 players. Mm -hmm. So you must have understanding and unity. Yeah. That's such that you know when this striker makes this run, I'm going to place this ball this way. 
do, do you see a scenario where these other players who are not performing under Jose Mourinho and even uh, Solskjaer's time and coming on to Rangnick now with uh, Eric Ten Hag, it's like a new lease of life for them. So this is like their last point in the road where you, if you don't prove yourself here, you'll yeah, be they, off then you go. I, yeah. I think that is what is going to happen because yeah. you have players like uh, the likes of Lingard, mm -hmm. uh, who have been fringe players, uh, yes. the likes of uh, Eric Bailey. Mm -hmm. But although there were there were there were issues with him uh, uh, being sold yes. and what have you, but this is the last because if you look at. What has also been affecting Manchester United is uh, we have a lot of dead woods in the team uh -huh. that have not been cleared. Yes. Sosia was afraid to clear. Mm -hmm. You look at a player like Jones. Yes. He's played one game a whole season. You're still on the payroll. <laughs> you see such kind of, such kind <laughs> of players. Eh? Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, we've gotten a manager who is, uh, at least I can say, since Jose Mourinho, yeah. who is on top of things, who knows yes. what he's doing. And, and who, what he wants. Who yeah. has the balls to yeah. make the tough calls. Yes. Solskjaer didn't have. Uh -huh. Ragnik was a, an interim manager, uh -huh. so he didn't do it and he yeah. lost the respect of the, yeah. the players. Yeah. And eventually when he lost the respect of the players, uh, the players could not, uh, could not deliver. Yeah. I, I was reading uh, and uh, the players were shocked because yes. now Ten Hag, when it comes to training sessions, he's Hands on. Hands on, yeah. He's doing everything by himself. Yeah. So he's showing them uh, the Ferguson style. Mm -hmm. I am here. Yeah. I will follow you yes. up to your house <laughs> to <laughs> see what you are eating. This place is a yes, 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 yes. To see yeah. what you are eating, uh -huh. to see what you are drinking, yes. to see how many hours are you sleeping. You yeah. see? Uh, and I had uh, the, one of the rules was that uh, if you drink on, uh, on on weekdays when you're supposed to have games, then yeah. you, you are you're fine, then the you are drunk. There's no you drinking. See? Yes. Uh, there's... Uh, if you have a problem, you come talk to me. No agent will be involved. Exactly. Yeah. That, that, that I support. Look at what <laughs> yeah. what Pogba was doing. Yes. Uh, the late uh, Mino yeah. Raiola. Yes. Mino Raiola was all over the news, uh, yeah. speaking here mm -hmm. and there. And yeah. you see, when that when your agent in the yeah. middle of the season, mm -hmm. when your agent comes up and starts, you are star player in this team, yes. and comes up and starts saying that uh, he's looking for another team for you, mm -hmm. it destabilizes the whole team. Yes. And uh, you see, it's your responsibility as a player because without you, this mm -hmm. agent doesn't have a job. So you're so, like the employee. Lawyer. Uh, and uh, that that is changing actually that but uh, now you have brought in Taylor Masi and then uh, if Frankie De Jong manages to come yes, and yes. then Ericsson uh, Ericsson also Ericsson, yes, yes, gets yes, yes. a chance to get onto the team and he's also talking about getting a new striker so they, they, they have jetted today to Thailand for their first yes, pre-season pre yes, yes, yes. and he said also he has been impressed by the youth, you know, there were players that uh, Solskjaer signed, yeah. but they did not get a chance to use there, them. There, yeah, there are some exciting talents coming yeah. up, and, uh, and uh, I think uh, the youth, the, 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 the under 17 and 20 years, yeah. they are very lucky. Because yes. uh, they are coming up when there's a manager who believes in the youth system. Yes. Look at the team he created at Ajax, uh -huh. the team that went on to up to the semi-final of the Champions yes. League yeah. from nowhere. The likes of De Jong, the likes of uh, Van de Beek, he but created them from Gilegit from yeah. nowhere. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, these are players that nobody knew. These are players <laughs> yes, who had been signed for two million and were sold for 98, 100 million, yeah. and maybe 70 million. Yeah. You see De Jong from 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 Barcelona. Uh, we are talking about 80 million pounds. Yes. And uh, uh, these are players whom I have signed for two million pounds. If he manages to get a player, I think he's also looking at uh, Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, yes, a very exciting winger, very left, exciting very, very, very powerful left foot. Yes. Uh, because he's looking at it that, uh, you see, the style of play that Ten Hag uh, plays yes. uh, is uh, like Pep Guardiola, uh -huh. but now with speed. Yes. You move the ball, uh, short passes, but very fast. Yes. If you look at Liverpool, mm -hmm. uh, they move long passes, but very fast. Fast, yeah. Uh, so you see, that's that that the style of ball uh, of play that they, they they want to be in position throughout, yeah. and then you are you are working on and off the ball. Yes. So that comes in now. That's what he's insisting on the personal chef and diet, yeah. because that uh, a player you must be very fit. Yeah. Can imagine if you want to run for ninety minutes? <laughs> because I remember Rangnick came up with a very good uh, analysis of Manchester United, where mm. he talked about you look at Liverpool being in four or five competitions, yes, and yes, players yes. are not getting injured. Yes. Yes. Then you look at Manchester United, one competition, but you got a whole... A whole injury is because yes. of unfitness, yeah. and uh, that blame has to go to Solskjaer. Yeah. Solskjaer slackened, Solskjaer mm -hmm. wanted to be a friend to these players. Yeah. And uh, you see, uh, at the end of the day, uh, coaching is just like teaching. Yeah. And uh, there has to be some toughness when, you're, when, you're, when, you're when you want to deliver uh, whatever lesson. some level of 
fear uh, yes and fear, firmness yeah, uh, and you and firmness uh, yeah. you see the, the players must fear you to a certain level yeah. for them to deliver yeah. uh, because if they don't fear you uh, they're just like kids and if you look at now the players of nowadays mm -hmm. uh, they, don't, change they don't have the passion for the club yes. they are there for the money they are mm -hmm. there for the cameras yeah. you know look at the likes of Roy Keane look at the likes of Patrick Vieira uh, Tony Adams they, yeah. those who are diehards uh, for yes. the club and uh, those who are passionate players a big one there for Manchester United but we're going to talk about Arsenal also very good strengthening that they have done so far bringing in uh, Gabriel Jesus, from, Jesus Manchester from, from Manchester City also coming on to the side <laughs> they're also chasing the signature of oh. Rafinha you look and, at and, their and, 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 and the, 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 the guy from uh, Ajax yeah. whom they are fighting over Martinez. Martinez. Martinez, uh, defender. Yeah. Uh, I think Gabriel Jesus is a good addition because mm -hmm. remember they, they lost uh, Abume Young to, to, to Barcelona. Uh -huh, yes. uh, so they have also lost Lacazette. Mm -hmm. So they needed uh, uh, to, to add fire, uh, fire, fireworks up or, uh, at the front. Yeah. And that's what exactly they've done because. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Gabriel Jesus, it was a good move, him leaving Manchester City. Already he was not getting chances. Now with yes. Haaland in the team, mm -hmm. uh, his talent will have been wasted. But he's not as good as maybe Aubameyang, but yeah. he will score yeah. some good goals. Score some good. Very, yeah. very, very big changes that you're bringing up because Manchester City now, Pep Guardiola is like also building another <laughs> team with Manchester City because yes, now. Yes. He's letting off Gabriel Jesus go bringing in Haaland. Yes. There's a big conversation of also Raheem Sterling mm -hmm. going for to, Chelsea. To, for Chelsea yes. bringing, bringing in uh, Kevin Phillips. Kel yeah, yeah. Uh, Kevin Phillips, I think, has already from, been from, added, yes, good. Yeah. So, the, a very different scenario or forward line yes, that yes. we'll be expecting for Manchester City. I think what, what, what Guardiola is doing is freshening up the team. And, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. for Haaland, I think uh, it was... Uh, that position should have been filled even last season because uh, yes. I remember Aguero left mm -hmm. and when Aguero left they never uh, replaced Aguero, Aguero yes. with a, a proper number nine mm -hmm. and uh, you see like uh, Gabriel Jesus could come in from the wings yes. most of the time and they have been playing with a false number nine in mm -hmm. Bernardo Silva, false yeah. number nine sometimes De, De Bruyne, a false number nine in sometimes even Sterling yes. and uh, you see uh, they want to bring in a seasoned goal scorer a proper number nine and yes. you find that uh, the traditional number nine uh, we are remaining with very few and Haaland is one of the best yes. at his age uh, is one of the best traditional number nines yes uh, and maybe uh, because Kilian comes in also can cut in from the wings Mbappe can cut in from the wings mm. but Haaland basically he, he's a traditional number nine so that was a good 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 acquisition mm. uh, that is going to, to really fill that void that had yes. been left by, 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 by Aguero and then Kevin Phillips coming in to freshen the team uh, he wants to have uh, a squad depth uh -huh, because yes. remember, uh, he's going to play in four cups, so he wants to have squad depth. He's yeah. still looking for the elusive Champions League. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tough one for him. We don't know if it will actually materialize. So, uh, it's now it's one. Still been eight, eight or nine years. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it is a trophy that uh, it's not easy to come by. It's not. It's not but easy but to but what I wonder is that as much as uh, Robert, I agree with you, it's not yeah. easy to come by. Yeah. But look at the squad that he yes. had at Bayern Munich. Look at the squad that he has assembled even last season. I I, I think Jose Mourinho puts it very well when it is a. Uh, uh, when it's a cup tournament yes. and you go one game, you are going games by games. It's a yeah. game per game. Yes, yes, yes. Some players usually lack that concentration mm. in the compared to the uh, league football where you are you, you, you're going for a whole season yeah, I, I, whole I also season. think Robert uh, that uh, if it's a cup tournament mm. then uh, uh, you, you throw a philosophy through the window yes. and you go for tactics uh -huh. you go for tactics you approach that game from a tactical point look yes. at look at Ancelotti but, but you see <laughs> overthinks too much even himself he says oh, my problem is that yeah. I, I do overthink too much and uh, that might be the main undoing and it, it actually showed mm. in those uh, teams of uh, you know, so Chelsea, yes. uh, so Paris Saint-Germain, Saint yeah, yes, so yes. Man City itself. Mm. Carlos Zolotto seems to be relaxed, he's taking his decisions yes, because bit mm. by bit and is winning. <laughs> because Carlo is looking at, look at Carlo, mm -hmm. he's being pragmatic. Yes. Uh, look at uh, Mourinho. Mm -hmm. Won the the the, the 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 nations whatever the conference, yes, the conference with Roma yes. out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Mourinho is being pragmatic. Yeah. Look at uh, Carlo Ancelotti uh, from the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. You play PSG. Yes. You come and play Chelsea. Mm 
Uh, and then you come and play Liverpool in the final. Yes. You see, those are three difficult. You play Man City on the way, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think second round was uh, PSG, PSG and then uh, Chelsea, Chelsea quarterfinals and then City. Man City yeah. and then now. This is a squad that everybody had ruled out. But well, you're being pragmatic and you're approaching this game as it, as it comes. Yeah. You throw tactics, you throw a philosophy to the window. Yes. And you say, I'm going to be tactical about this game. Yes. And uh, if you've listened to Pep, his undoing also, apart from overthinking, mm -hmm. he believes his philosophy doesn't have a problem. So when the mm -hmm. philosophy is not working, yes. he doesn't have the right players. Yeah. And that's why he keeps on bringing in players and releasing players. But you see, in a final, yes. you approach that game with the opponent in mind. If the opponent is going to defend, then how do you break them down? Yes. Mourinho will defend for, 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 for 90 minutes, score one goal. And uh, he says, I, I remember one day he says, you can get the possession, stay with the ball. I'll go with the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with the three points. <laughs> yes, you see. A, a very big uh, change of conversation we're having here. But also, I look at... Uh, the transfers, uh, Real Madrid has not done a lot of transfers, but they have been doing transfers gradually, yes, yes. building onto the team. Because you look at, uh, mm. they brought in Kamavinga, yes. he has gelled onto the team, yes. he's now working very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, now they brought in Chouameni, uh, also Chouameni, yes, joining yes. the team uh, and yes, all yes. that. Mm. So you look at that midfield line mm. of Kamavinga, Chouameni and Valverde, and I saw their their contracts mm. are now going up to 2027, 20, 2028. 20, yes, 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 They're yes. 22, 23 years mm -hmm, old. Mm -hmm. I think it's a military, it's like 24. Yes. That looks like a team that is still going to dominate. Oh, yes. It is, without it is. people realizing that yes. these guys are building a very serious team. Yes, and you see, uh, had they gotten Killian? Yes. Um, Bappe, then, uh, uh, and it's just a matter of time. It'll be a complete. Uh, it's just a matter of time because yeah. at one given time, at one given time, Kylian will play for Real Madrid. Uh, I think uh, he will. He will. I think, I think players also should uh, learn that uh, uh, because uh, you look at uh, players now, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I might not be an expert in the field, but you look at players now. Yes, they are going for the check too much. The, uh, football they're, they're, mercenaries. Yeah, they are reading. Uh, uh, yes, I, I call them football the, mercenaries. The zeros, the zeros yeah, yeah. they are reading. <laughs> There's no loyalty in football nowadays. <laughs> yes, eh? Eh? There's no loyalty. Yeah. You know, I, I was listening to to, to uh, Paul scores at one given time. Yes. Uh, at his peak, uh -huh. I think I, I don't know if it was AC Milan or Real Madrid wanted to buy him. And yes. I think AC Milan uh -huh. and uh, Berlusconi or somebody uh, yeah. they, 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 they wanted to buy him, uh -huh. and they told him, "Unless you buy Manchester United, I'm not coming." I'm not. Yeah, yeah very true. Because even uh, 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 is it uh, Del Piero? Del Piero again. Yeah, uh, he Del told Piero. off Ferguson and yes. said, "I respect <laughs> you a lot, but I, I, I'm not gonna come." Yeah. <laughs> you see, that uh, is loyalty. Yes. And the fuckers would respect that. And yes, say, yes, yeah, yes, yes, when yes. You, when you think up to that level, yes. yeah, that, that's a serious loyalty. That's why. But now, you see, now look at Kylian. He has toyed with Real Madrid throughout the season, yeah. and Real Madrid uh, passed up the opportunity of signing Haaland. And yes. then the last minute, you pick the check. Uh, you see, that is football mercenaries. But, but now the problem is, yes, yes. this check you're picking yes. might not translate into trophies. Because they, at the end do of they the care day, about trophies? Yeah. At the end of the day, they don't. They don't. At the end of the day, mm. you need that uh, mm -hmm. trophy. You need yes. uh, you need uh, that trophy where you. That 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 shows the mark that you have earned. And, in the and that's game. where you find that uh, mm. the teams that are spreading money around, Manchester yeah. United has tried to spread money around. Yeah. They've not gotten any trophy throughout. Yes. And as you see, they have gone for a coach who 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 is going to instill discipline. And for PSG to win anything but, substantial, <laughs> then they have to go for a coach but, but who will pin down these players. Do you know what I have liked uh, with uh, this guy's uh, Eric Ten Hag the yes, transfer yes. strategy? Yes. Uh, this time round, not every player has been linked to United. Exactly. This time round, uh, it has been only Frank De Jong. Yes. Then all of a sudden, they are signing the left back. Yes. Yeah. Now he's looking for for a striker. Yeah. yeah. So that being uh, a little bit meek. Yes. Yeah. Not throwing your cards out. You don't yes. just throw your aces. Yes. And how yes. it has And been you good see, the, the moment the media picks up the rumor that you want a player. Yes. Then for a club like Manchester United, mm. then the price escalates. Yeah. Look at Maguire. Yeah. He bought Maguire for 80 million 80 pounds, million. surely, seriously. The most and, expensive and, 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 and we, we, Yes, we had, we had cheaper <laughs> options. Look at Varane. Even yeah. Varane, I think uh, Real Madrid knew very well his past, his, uh, his, his best years, yeah. uh, because of uh, injuries and what have you. Yeah. Uh, and, and you find that those are the, those are the challenges that are, are, are there right now. But one team 
that has really made us signing mm. has got to be total. The chance on coming in that forward line. Whoa, 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 whoa. I posted, I it, on, on, I posted <laughs> it on my social yeah. media and I said, <laughs> I want us to look at one thing. Yes. One, Conte is a specialist of the counter attack. Yes. Now he has Song, mm -hmm. he has Richardson, mm -hmm. and he has Harry Kane. Yeah. Look at that counter attack. attack and yes. then he has Tugen Dombele in the midfield. Uh -huh. Uh, and then he has this other guy, Kalaweski or yes. somebody. You see, look at that that that, that blend. Mm -hmm. Tottenham is going to be a nightmare to, to most play. of the teams. People are underrating the signings that are being made by Tottenham. But mm -hmm. let me assure you, Robert, uh, yeah. uh, you'll find that uh, by the time we get the Premier League starts, I think yes. uh, uh, they are serious contenders of, mm -hmm. uh, of the top four. They are likely to remain there. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the, unless anything, something happens in the middle of the season, yes. they have a reputable coach. A serial winner yeah. and a good squad. That, uh, because I, uh, I, look, I saw with the Juventus, uh, uh, with the Chelsea, Chelsea, uh, yeah. you, look, you usually like the using wing backs, and use three Milano's defenders, course. yeah, and yes. uh, those yes. wing backs. So when, when I when I saw that signing of, yes. and I don't know, there were conversations about which team is going to get this striker from Everton yes, because yes, yes, yes. he is a proven is a, a proven goal yeah, scorer he's a Brazilian. <laughs> yeah he's a proven he comes onto the dressing room he makes you good he makes the other players around him better yes and i thought madrid was going to get richardson mm. no then all of a sudden Conte has gone for yeah, him yeah, and yeah. they splashed him good 50 million for yeah, him. 50 million i think that uh, team that's, that's a good investment even top two now next season is a very yeah it, it will give it will give the big teams a run for their money yeah uh, it will give the big teams a run for their money mm -hmm. but again uh, the transfer uh, that uh, surprised me and mm -hmm. i think it was good uh, is money leaving money. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, uh, i i usually say uh, yeah. A player, even if he, he performs for you or doesn't perform for you, yeah. there, there's a, there, there, there is supposed to be uh, appreciation of the player. Respect, yes. Yeah, yes, respect yes. of the yes, player. Yes. And uh, giving Sadio Mane 100 million, yes. yeah, it doesn't look like a greedy player, yes. but even so, for him, he was not complaining, but the, the public mm. opinion was. Yeah, it was too little. <laughs> and then you come for, and give Mo Salah well, now to yeah, yeah, after for, Saleh has left. Yes, Salah, and a, player has like, left uh, a player uh, like Sadio Mane. Yes. Uh, 200 uh, to Ballon d'Or do nominee. Yeah, you yeah. know, uh, well, uh, and then look at since the time he left, he, he, he left Southampton into Liverpool, look at yeah. what he's done for them. Yes. Uh, they've, he've, he's lifted the league, uh -huh. he's lifted the Champions League, he's delivered. Now, the uh, question will be, yes. these are the kids who have come in, the likes of uh, Damien Nunes, who is yes, coming yes, now yes. at yeah. 22 years old. Mm. Can he feel that, uh, the shoes that Sadio oh, no, Mane... No, no, he can't, he yeah? can't. Not immediately because, you see, Damien Nunes is coming from a different league. Yes. So there's uh, the culture shock. Mm. There's uh, ad adapting to life in England, yes. and then now performing. Mm -hmm. The Premier League is aggressive. Yes, <laughs> the Premier League is rough. Yeah, and uh, you see, it's not like uh, where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. So he cannot make an impact immediately. So they're, they're, I, I think Liverpool, as much as they have they have replaced him, uh, they are going to miss Sadio. You know that forward line of uh, Sadio Mane, Firmino, and Mo Salah Mo Salah. was very scary. It was very scary. Uh, uh, at their best, it I is agree, not a forward line you want to meet. Why? Because you see, you have a finisher in yes. Salah. Mm -hmm. You have a workhorse mm -hmm. in Firmino. Yes. Firmino will work. <laughs> will not get the glory at the end of the day, yes. but will work. Yeah. And then you have a player whom, who can produce a, 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 a individual brilliance at any given time yes. in Sadio Mane, yeah. who is also a worker. Uh -huh. Off and on the ball. Yeah. You see, now that becomes a complete. And mm -hmm. you see, uh, uh, since uh, 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 the coach came in, he's mm -hmm. been using that 4 3 3. Yes. Because it was trusted. <laughs> Now you destabilize that. Yeah. Uh, I think they're, they're going to, ha to feel the effect. That one definitely. Well, it's going to be a tricky one for them, but also one team that has also been quiet in this transfer window has got to be Chelsea with Thomas Tuchel. We are not seeing a lot coming out of the Chelsea, but they are being linked with a player like Osman Dembele. Osman from Dembele, Barcelona. they have uh, Raheem also Sterling. Raheem Sterling also oh, yeah. been linked on to Rafinha, Rafinha too, has yeah. been linked on to oh. the team, but 
and quite a number of uh, their players are linked to be, to be leaving uh, because Vilquelta, yes. Alonso to Barcelona mm -hmm. and such kind of players. Christensen was released. Yes, yes, they yes. need to sign because Rudiger also leaving oh, must ah, be... Rudiger left for a very big <laughs> blow in the, yeah, the, the defence because uh, uh, Silva is ageing. Yes. He'll be 36. Mm -hmm. He will not play week in, week oh, out. Thiago Silva is actually 37. 37. Yeah, yeah. He will not play in week in, week out. Yes. And uh, you see, when Rudiger came into the team, uh, I think uh, uh, he, he stabilized the team. Yes. And uh, Rudiger, by the way, is a big, big, big acquisition for, 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 for Madrid. Real Madrid. Yeah. Because him and Militao and then Alaba, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is complete. Uh, and then Alaba Kavayal. went back to his uh, original yes, position. Yes, yes, Militao, Rudiger, and then Alaba and Cavayal on this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. it will be scary. You, you don't want to play them. Yes. Anytime. But, what, uh, but Chelsea, know. maybe to comment on Chelsea, I think yes. uh, um, their, 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 their problems off, off the field yes. has really affected because you see there is new ownership that is yeah. coming in. And the problem with the, when management changes uh, is that uh, the guy who is coming in may not be as passionate about football as the guy who's left. Yeah, very true, yes, very true, yes, very true. Yes. Because Abramovich was yeah. really passionate about football. He could, he could have splashed money. Haaland could be in, in Madrid, in Chelsea right now, if Abramovich was still there. Yeah. yeah. But, you, you, you but they have also released Lukaku. Yeah. A, a good point you have brought in, because when you look at these owners, yes. uh, you look at uh, American owners, they are really business-oriented. Business they don't oriented. just put look out the, money. They don't the just give you Very money. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't just, uh, they, are, they are all about, yes, you are putting money, we have to, uh, to get, get returns. The, the, yeah, we have to money, get. Yeah, yeah. Look at uh, these uh, PSG owners, uh, yes, yes. Uh, Man City. Man City yeah. Because they have got Value the for muscle, money. Yeah, they just, hey, let's put our money there. It's, it's not about the sport, but it's about a business. Yes. Uh, yeah. Business has to make profits. Yeah, yeah, and um, that's what they're looking at. Well, it's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have this conversation later on because uh, you look at uh, Manchester City now, mm -hmm. it is now the City Football Group because they are yes. acquiring clubs. Acquiring the, clubs. The, yeah. the latest yes. club they acquired yes. was Palermo from yeah, Italy. But, <laughs> but, but yeah. what, what is shocking about this transfer uh, window, Robert, is uh, Newcastle. Newcastle. I, I was expecting Newcastle to splash money. Yeah. To now come back to the top six. I think. Uh, uh, I haven't seen Eddie Howe has been like Eddie, quiet. He has made some signings, yes. Yes. But, but not big, big, big not signings. Not big eh? signings. Yeah. And uh, I think Eddie Howe is like, we need to stabilize fast. Yeah, yeah, we stabilize yeah, we maybe to, in the yeah, mid table. Yeah, we need to uh, stabilize. Uh, that will get him fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They want to perform at the <laughs> highest <laughs> level. It's going to be a very tough, tough season uh, that we'll be looking at. But those are some of the major transfers that have been happening and we are waiting for others to start. So yeah. Manchester starting their preseason, they might play Liverpool any time here. But which kids you like to see? Uh, uh, you, you, what would you like to see from the players of Manchester United under Ten Hag as they start their preseason? I, I would like to see love for the badge. <laughs> yes. Love for the badge because yeah. when you love the badge, you'll die for the badge. Yeah. And... Um, I still believe uh, Manchester United has uh, some of the greatest talents in Rashford. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Rashford, you remember Rashford under Van Gaal? Uh -huh. uh, Rashford was a beast. Yes. I would like to see that back. And well, then Jordan Sancho is coming yeah. in, beautiful yeah. talent. Yeah. Uh, but what do you do with the talent? Yeah. And then I can't imagine now having Ericsson in that team. Uh, good creator. Yeah. Together Bruno, uh, with Bruno uh, Fernandes. Yes. Uh, commitment. And love for the badge. Change. Love for the badge. If they love that badge, they will yeah. play for it. Well, that is where we finish off the touchline with the last words of Eric about the love for the badge for Manchester United. It has been fun having you here for two hours. It's all about the touchline. We'll be having you here again next week. And Maxwell Osike will be in studio with me as we dissect matter sports. Eric, thanks a lot for coming. Thank and for me. the touchline crew, we say good afternoon. And Asante Sana, enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254.